we showed you some of the most common interview mistakes and asked if you knew which mistake was considered the most damaging. The answer, 51% of hiring managers who participated in this survey by CareerBuilder.com chose dressing inappropriately. So in today's Reclaim Your Career, are you the right person for the job once you dress appropriately. <laughs> well, first you have to get through the interview process, so it pays to be well prepared on so many levels. Paula Caligiuri is the author of Get a Life, Not a Job. She joins me right now with tips on interview etiquette. So before the interview, uh, there's of course preparation. What advice do you have for applicants? On preparing for the interview, so very important. First of all, make sure you know where you're going. <laughs> so many people end up late because they just couldn't find the place or couldn't find a place to park. So maybe so make sure a dry you know where run, you're going. right? <laughs> at, at night before, absolutely. Also, be sure you do a very, very good job preparing about the organization. Understand who their competitors are, what their sales are, what their products are about, what's coming on the horizon. Know, know sort of the job that you're looking for, the job that you want to be, and how that fits into the organization. So very important, do your homework. Okay, and then you say, you know, you've got to bring your resume just in case. I mean, they, you've sent it to them, they know that, but you still might need to have a hard copy um, right there on your person, why? It's real important because the applicant tracking systems that a lot of firms use will oftentimes mess up the formatting. So sometimes they're a little bit hard to read. It, it's nice. It shows preparation. You can always say, would you like to see a, an updated version of my resume? It's just a nice thing to do, do. It shows that you're prepared. Okay. And then you need to have some questions at hand. Come, you know, usually you're at the interview. They ask you a lot of stuff and then you need to have some questions to ask them so important I, again it shows that you're engaged with the organization that you understand what the company is all about you've done your homework and that you understand how you're gonna fit into the organization ask great questions about the company okay and then appearance really does matter uh, you need to be a little bit more formal or perhaps a little bit more pulled together at an interview than I guess when you're just going out to meet friends or going on a date <laughs> Certainly. And, and a terrific rule of, of thumb for this. Think about the norm for the organization and then dial it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. So, it, for example, if the company, if it's okay to wear jeans and t shirts to the company, um, make sure you wear a nice pair of pants and maybe a, a shirt with a collar. Show that you're pulled together, that you have a lot of respect for the organization. That will be so, so important. Your appearance absolutely matters. All right, and manners. It seems like that would be, you know, kind of a duh given that you need to have your manners in check. What sort of things do you think people forget about? Mm. So quite a few here. Um, some basic things. Don't forget to shake the person's hand. Smile. Um, real simple ones. In, wait to be invited to sit down. Um, just it'll show that you respect the fact that you're the guest in the interview. When you sit down, here, this one's often, I, I can't believe how many people miss this one, but oftentimes, especially um, women, they'll, they tend to leave their purse or their briefcase on their lap. <laughs> like they be sure to somewhere put to that go. to your side. Exactly. They don't even want to be there. They want to get the heck out of there. So, so be sure you put your, put your purse, put your briefcase to the side. Um, be sure you, you turn it into a conversation. Small things uh, matter. Don't interrupt. Mm -hmm. All those small, small things, good etiquette, um, all of those are important. All right. Turning off your cell phone. And gosh, don't text or anything like that. I can't believe we have to remind people right. of that. And, and your iPod <laughs> is not a fashion accessory, right? <laughs> right. And then you need to show that appreciation. You know, we, we've all been told you got to follow up with a thank you note. But in what form? I mean, does it still need to be mailed? Is this email? What? How do you show your appreciation? Mm. With that, it depends a little bit. If you think the turnaround cycle is very quick, if they're going to be deciding within the next couple of days on who they want to hire, it's okay to send a thank you note in an email. If you have a little bit of time, show some respect, send the time, send, take the time to write a nice handwritten note on some nice stationery or a ni nice note card. Go the extra effort. It will show that you respect how serious the decision is. But not handwritten, right? Even if you're going to mail something, it, oh, it wouldn't would be ha handwritten. Yes? I would handwrite it. I would handwrite it. Yes, it shows. It just shows that you take the time and that you really do respect the respect the organization and and the context of seriousness of the decision. Wow! And hopefully your penmanship is clear and pretty. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, Paul and Caligiuri, thanks so much. Appreciate that. And hopefully, my pleasure. Will land that job as a result of Paula's tips.
All right, Venus Williams, well, she doesn't have just one job. The tennis champ is pursuing several career paths off the court. She tells me exactly what fields uh, she is conquering already face-to-face. -face. Start ahead.